So think about a tuning fork, banging a tuning fork. You can see the vibration in the tines of the tuning fork, and that is moving the surrounding air, which is generating a regular and repeating pressure pattern in the air which travels away. Then I'm going to create these regular regions of pressure and the regular regions of pressure are going to be moving in the direction that I've begun the vibration to happen. So then we can look at the distance in centimeters or meters between the high pressure areas which are regular and repeating and we can call that what we call a wavelength. So when you hear about the wavelength of sound waves or the wavelength of any kind of wave. It's the physical distance in meters or centimeters between uh, uh, repeating patterns in the wave. So we're going from high pressure down to low back to high. That's a one cycle of back to high pressure. That's called the wavelength. It might be five centimeters or it might be three centimeters or it might be something much longer. Wavelengths are true for sound waves, they're true for light waves, they're true for water waves, they're true for any kind of wave with a repeating pattern. They all have what we call a wavelength. Now, if you graph this, and you can say that this is high pressure, you can graph this on a graph and you can say, well, that's a high pressure. This is a lower pressure, so you can label this axis pressure, right? and it goes back to high pressure and then back to low pressure and then back to high pressure again, then you can connect them in a smooth curve and get that typical wave looking pattern that we always see. When you, uh, you, know, you, you see a sound wave or even a light wave or a water wave represented as a wave, you see the crest and the troughs. That's where it comes from. High pressure is the top part of the wave, low pressure is the low part of the wave, and the distance to where the wave repeats itself is called the wavelength. That's the same wavelength as what we drew up here, represented in a different way. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.